Folks at home, welcome back to the Lake Life Family Channel. Thanks for hanging with us today and subscribing to the channel. In case you've never been here, this is me, Stephanie, Emmy, a small little homestead if you want to call it that. And a lot of time that I spend off the water, I'm here. I'm here with the fam and we film it. So I'm in the boat right now actually getting ready to go on a trip. So I'm organizing some tackle. But in today's video, we have something really exciting to show you that has brought new life over here. We have been dreaming about getting one of these uh, adventure vehicles. There's not a whole lot in life that you can buy that really brings you true happiness, but I gotta say on this one right here, we are enjoying being together even more and enjoying being part of the neighborhood even more. It is just a it's well it's an essential item that honestly brings happiness my beautiful wife has has picked some little greeners some sprouts for the chickens some sprouts for the chickens these are actually growing naturally in our yard because <laughs> of the birds they go up on the feeder up there and when they're munching their little crunchies they fall down here and they just start growing little plants and then we pick them and give them to the chickens it's like a whole circle of life here at the tree house well, speaking of that, let's go do a chicken check chicken slash check. duck check. Because in our last video, we built a duck house. So all the chickens, they are sleeping on the roost at night. I trained them to do it once. And so now they just they just do it on their own. We don't have to come out here and do anything. And they are getting full grown, ladies and gentlemen. And they're like dogs, just ready to attack. Yeah, we got some greens. Got some greens for you. I made one minor adjustment. If y'all are doing backyard chickens, I will share this tip with you. They will actually battle for the roost, the top roost position. And I had a roosting bar down here previously, just to make it easier for the old big hens to get up there. <laughs> Stephanie, it looks so funny. It looks like you're in a little dollhouse. <laughs> it looks like I'm in a dollhouse. But I learned that they all fight over the top roosting bar if there's a top one. So I ended up moving this one uh, back up there. Originally it was it was a little too close together and they were having a hard time uh, uh, jumping up to this one. They could jump up to that one easily. So now they can jump up to both. Uh, they all try to get on that one. Then the big hens, they usually will peck at the smaller hens and uh, they, they usually end up like jumping half and half and half. Actually, plenty of room in here. More room than I, than I thought. Uh, so they're actually getting pretty good ventilation in here as well. Uh, I use something called uh, Coop Refresher. I think that's what it's called in here. And it actually does not even smell right now. You know, there's there's poop and whatnot. But two things I did. I, I put a, uh, a piece of scrap wood right here that allows you to uh, really make this th uh, thicker, higher. If this wasn't here, a lot of this would be falling out. Uh, but I put that there and I, I filled this up and I put that coop refresher in there and that allows the, the you know their poop to fall down in there and, and start to decompose and it's actually it's called the deep litter method um, so I've, I've been experimenting with that and I've been very happy because because we don't have to change it very often the last it time does we, not smell at it, all yeah it doesn't smell which is awesome you don't have that like ammonia smell and we don't have to come out here you know every week and change it this has been over a month and it's doing just fine. I just take a little, what do you call that? A little rake? What, what is that thing called? I don't know. It's What's my th herb garden rake that you've stolen. <laughs> yes, I've gotten poop on it. Uh, so I will apologize. not be using it for herbs anymore. Uh, just, you know, stir it around, get it going, and then the microorganisms, they start doing their thing. One more thing I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna make uh, some holes right here. So when this is closed, we'll get a little bit better ventilation. It's starting to heat up. Yeah. Um, but we just had some random kind of letting it air out, but and we've also added some sand in here as well Which has helped tremendously with like the, the has, water flow. It doesn't wash away They like to take little sand baths in it and it's just better with their poop and everything we've, we've realized so the duck house is vacant. Uh, It's vacant. Yeah, the duck I haven't seen him sleep in it. He really just kind of sleeps on the ground. He doesn't doesn't mind it at all. Uh oh. Oh uh -oh. no! Oh no! They're uh -oh. all going. Get no. him back! Get him back! Get him back! Get him back! Get him back! Give them give them an opportunity, and they're gone. 
And uh, if you guys watch my video my, on the Lake Fort Guy channel, Bobcat was lurking over here very recently. So it was like middle of the day as well. So we really have to keep an eye on them. Eventually we want to get like a full blown fence out here, but one step at a time, one step at a time. Every time we turn around, there's something else. And every time we turn around, there's something we got to do, something we got to improve, but that's good. That's life. That is life. Also, another thing that I want to tell y'all, um, update on the little herb garden that's over there in the railroad ties. I had several of y'all um, comment and email us about not consuming those herbs because they're in the railroad ties that have creosol in them. Uh, definitely, we are not going to be oh, eating yeah. them. A lot of that stuff is a natural mosquito repellent, and that's what we want. Uh, mosquitoes really get in coops. So th that's the only thing I know right now that's really natural that we can use is uh, we're going to put some hooks in here and put the rosemary and all the different herbs in there and hopefully keep the mosquitoes away. Because like when I come out here, oh man, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like dozens of mosquitoes that are flying out of there right now. So we definitely need, definitely need something to knock down the mosquitoes. So if you've got a natural remedy, let us know over at the Lake Life Family Channel Instagram. It's linked down below. You can follow us. That is our communication here because YouTube keeps cutting off our comments. I don't know why. I don't know why. You guys always ask why. I don't know. I don't know why. They just don't want us to have comments for some reason. Now, let's check out the duck because he's starting to molt his, uh, not baby feathers, but his young adult feathers. And he's starting to get his green head, his khaki chest, coming in hot with their favorite treat. This is the, the mega bag. <laughs> I think I've already given them way too much today, too. I just want to show them the duck. This is the way you lure the duck in right here. Ducky! Gotta show them, gotta show them the up close and personal Ebenezer. He's coming in. He knows. He knows what's up. You see the little green iridescence? Oh, gosh! Yeah. You just hold your hand out. He'll, he'll He's never attack. done that out of my hand before. I actually saw him do something really interesting today. I saw him sneak attack one of the big hens. What? Like they were just minding their own business and he came up behind them and like pulled one of their feathers out. Oh, maybe he's like, starting to get a little feisty. Yeah, getting a little feisty. Good for him. I mean, they picked on him I lot. have heard, actually a lot of people have commented um, and said that once they get adults, they get kind of feisty and they will actually hurt the hens when he tries to mate with them. So maybe he's starting that. I mean, he's just a machine gun. He was, he's a machine gun. Here you go, guys. Comes in there. He, he loves the mealworms more than anybody. So this is one thing that I'll do is I'll, I'll give them the mealworms and just kind of pet them while they're underneath me. And that'll kind of get them used to me handling them. And that's that's been good. That's a, that's a good little tip in my, my chicken raising experience, I would say. <laughs> you just gave them. I never give them that much. Really? Yeah. Like That's probably oh, why they're like. She's starting to get her um, her adult her adult squawks. I was wondering what that was. It yeah. sounds They're no longer cheeping anymore. I've it sounds like a wheezy toy. <laughs> yeah. They're like going through the puberty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds like a little. That's new. That's I've honestly <laughs> never heard that until today. If y'all are thinking about getting backyard chickens and you're wondering about species to get, I would say the easiest to handle are the reds and the barred rocks. They're like the most friendly. They're like dogs, basically. But there's definitely a lot of other chicken species that are really fun. And a lot of people really do like Easter eggers too, just because their eggs are so cool and they're cool looking chickens. The dorkings I hear are the the best meat like if you're gonna raise them up for a gourmet chicken meal which we're not doing and you know another fun fact is they have five toes they have five toes all the other chickens have four toes they have five they have like one little nub out there hopefully one day ebenezer the duck will actually use this house that i spent so much time building but now ladies and gentlemen let's go over and take a gander at our Brand new. Well, it's not brand new, but it's brand new to us. The family golf cart. Welcome to the Rackley Adventure Wagon. I think we need a good name for this guy. I think so too. 
Uh, link down below for our Instagram. Give us some good names. Okay, so this thing is green. It is a uh, 2011 Easy Go. So it is a is a used cart. Came off a golf course somewhere. I found it interesting that uh, this deal right here says Georgia. A gut, not just Georgia, babe, but Augusta, the most famous golf course um, mm. in America. I don't. Did it come from there? What they did was they. Um, this company that does does these carts, they lifted it. I think it's like a six inch lift. I mean, it is a big old wagon. It's got them big old mud tires on there. It, it has a new LED lights. It's got original seat, but it's got a <laughs> back seat kit put in it. So you fold this down, you know, you can tote your, I literally toted some fish carcasses down to the lake today came in use it's like a little truck bed put your cooler back there put your you know garden supplies i don't know whatever you want to do put your friends on it flip it up put your friends on it this is a zero golf course use cart right here this is straight up for lake the lake life cart riding around the neighborhood cart riding around the neighborhood that's just what we do here i know that's what everyone does everyone in our neighborhoods they either got a, like a four-wheeler they got an atv they got a golf cart they the mopeds you name it whatever it's just all about cruising waving at your neighbors and enjoying the lake and i've also I I've also enjoyed like it has it has made the neighborhood smaller you know so you can just drive around you know you just connect with everybody it's, re it's really good it's it's really awesome since we moved here we realized that we needed one it's just taken us years we're like i don't know i don't know and i finally found a used one for a really good price that had you know it looks cool, let's be honest. It looks cool. It looks like a small lifted Jeep situation and it's electric, so it's quiet. I, I, I debated, I was like, maybe we should get the old gas cart, you know, because we got so many hills in the hood and I don't know if electric's gonna do, but this thing pulls the hills awesome. Way better than what I thought. It's a uh, AC motor instead of a DC. Um, it runs for like a week on a charge. So you really don't have to charge it up every night. I thought that's how it was gonna work, like with a bass boat, with the same amount of batteries, you gotta charge that, that, that trolling motor all the time. It has become like our little date in the evenings. Emmy loves it. We sit her right here in the middle of us and uh, she loves it. Yeah, this is how much she loves it. She in the mornings, the beep beep. she normally runs straight to the ducks and the chickens in the morning to say hi. Now it is run straight over here and jump on and goes beep beep. Beep beep. Beep beep. Let's go beep beep. Wee. <laughs> beep beep. So uh, I will say every, every penny spent, and we got it for a good price, but every penny spent uh, has been just enjoyable it's yeah it's been enjoyable it's fun for the whole family so we're going to take it for a little drive with you guys if you're thinking that these big tires make it go slow it actually makes it go faster that was the most interesting thing i found out about the the lifted golf carts um i guess the motor thinks it has smaller tires so it's making those bigger tires run at the same re revolution That's as fire. a small tire you were on spider check i got you Thank you, babe. I appreciate it. No spiders on the neck here. So this baby tops out 26 miles an hour. We also got we got a little uh, little kit, little little chip kit put on it. So it's souped up. It's souped up. <laughs> Yee, so much fun, you guys. I never knew how much fun this was gonna be until we got one. See, it's like a nice little woods cart ride. I feel like we're going through like the the safari. I need like a little microphone going on up here. Well, Hello, yeah, welcome to Steffi's safari tours. Oh, that's the other thing. You have to have a cart hat. This, this is my golf cart hat. Keeps the, uh, the wind out, my hair clean. Are you ready? High speed check. Ready? Turn and burn, baby. I mean, was Actually, here? don't turn. This thing will flip <laughs> over. Just, just go straight and hit the gas. Emmy was here. She go ready. Ready. Set. Go. go. Woo! Ooh, yeah. It gets a little wobbly it at does. that top speed. <laughs> you know, you really, you really have to start working it. 
<laughs> Starts trying walking up there. But it's good to know. Yeah, if you ever needed to get in a race with a fellow golf carter. Or run away from something. Ah, bobcat. You got the power. But other than the, the evening cruises, it's also a useful tool in the yard and just, you know, around the house if you gotta move something back or you know you got a heavy load you don't want to use a wheelbarrow or something like that you can also use it for that so that's my justification as a tax write-off <laughs> why green why did you want green we've already got like a uh, campsite theme going on at the treehouse and i felt like the green just made it more campy but i was like i just i don't want a white one i like green but i thought you were gonna go like i want a, i want an eggshell blue or i want like you know Something of that, like green, like I want teal. a pink one. Not, I know you don't want pink. I know you better than that. But you know what I'm saying. I, I don't know. Thinking. I like the green. The other thing is, I really want to paint our front door green. <laughs> You're on a green kick. I'm right on now. a green kick. I think this should be the parking spot. We can put a little backstop here. Oh, there's a turtle! What in the heck? What in the world? What is a turtle doing there? <laughs> like oh, a wedge? he's cute. I literally used the cart to move a turtle the other day because we have like a neighborhood pond. Yeah. And I just put him in the cart just as an excuse. Like, you know, instead of walking around the pond, <laughs> I'm going to take this turtle. You're supposed to be around water, bud. Where are you going? He probably made his way up from the creek. Well, he climbed a big old hill he did. to get up here. You want to hop back in the cart? Take him for a spin? <laughs> I feel like we need to. Like, we <laughs> we need have to the save cart. Them. You know, this thing kind of looks like a turtle. The turtle. What do you, is there something with a turtle in the name? Um, the nin, hefty turtle. The ninja turtle. The no, the ninja turtle. <laughs> <laughs> you love turtles. I mean, I like turtles. She likes turtles. <laughs> Maybe that's why I liked green. I secretly like am drawn to the color green. I like turtles. I'm not sure. The turtle saver. Anyway, that's what it's gonna be used for. We're gonna we're gonna take this guy to a little uh, neighborhood pond and drop him off because there's no water here, except in the creek. But it's pretty dry right now. Load him up. Load that turtle up, babe. He's been out of water for a while, so he, he needs, to, needs to get back. We'll bring you the turtle saver. You're sticking back here. There's a nice little pocket. Oh, there is a nice. <laughs> this is our turtle pocket right here. We'll go in here. It's the turtle cart. <laughs> the turtle cart. <laughs> Hey, little buddy. Saving turtles one at a time. Not with paper straws, with real life action. The turtle was officially saved. We brought it back to the pond. Something happened to our last couple clips where the audio went out, so they unfortunately were not saved. And Justin has already left, but Emmy was not in the video because she was over at Mimi's house, and now she is back home. Emmy, how much do you love the beep beep? I beep. There you have it. She loves it. We love it. It's just an all around family vehicle that all of us can benefit from. And like Justin said, there's not a whole lot of things in life you can buy that bring you happiness, but y'all, I think this is definitely one of them. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for a like since you cannot comment anymore on these videos. We're trying to figure that out still, but again, we have no idea what is going on. So go over to our Instagram page. Let us know down in the comments what this new vehicle should be named. I think it should be called like the turtle cart or something. Look, we even have like a little towel for Emmy that has little turtles on it. But she's got a play date this morning with a little neighbor friend up the street. And we're gonna take the little golf cart up there. So instead of strapping her down in the in the car seat and having to, you know, drive not even a mile away, it's just so easy just hop in the cart you say let's go beep beep she hops in the cart and then we go on up so we are definitely going to be using this on a daily basis you guys thank you so much for following along on today's adventure and we will see you right back here at the treehouse on the next one